Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's LEGO Robotics. Um, if you check uh, a couple of videos ago, I did a video on how to save time in base. Um, thank you for your responses. We got some good feedback from folks who do FLL on, on what their tricks and tips are. Um, but this video is going to be about programming a, a wait to be pressed button uh, in the program. So what we want to do is we want to be able to run your missions when it comes back to base. We already want to have the next uh, mission ready in this case here. So what we're going to do is take a look at the programming and how do we program our uh, robots so that when it comes back to base, we just press the button and it can send us off into our next mission without having to look for separate programs. So let's check out that. Okay, everybody, I am in my LEGO Mindstorm software here. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to waste your time. I'm just going to simulate two missions that you would possibly be doing for FLL. And then to put the wait for the button press in the middle and then take it to the table and show you what this would look like. So let's just do this real quick, uh, something quick and random. Um, let's just do a forward for four seconds. Nah, make it even three. Um, and then kind of like an FLL mission, let's do a comeback to base for those same three rotations. Okay, so let's pretend that's a mission this year for like your filter or your rain or some, some, some random program. So what we want to now see is when we come back to base, instead of looking for the next mission, like clicking, clicking, going through your, your uh, save programs, why not? combine this first mission with now a second mission. So let me go ahead and show you what we're going to do. We're going to go down here to your orange tab, pull out this weight block, and we're going to put it right there. What we're going to do is click this on for brick buttons, compare, and then brick buttons. And what's really cool about this is it's already set up for, here, let me just go ahead and click this for you. So right now it defaults to clicking that middle button kind of the button that you would already press if you're going to start a program. And it's already set for the button being pressed in. So we'll leave it like that. And then let's go ahead and connect it to an another mission. So let's, just so I can show you it's a different one, uh, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and just slow this down so you guys know it's a different program. So we'll do 30% speed for those same three rotations. And then we'll, we'll come back for that same speed. So I'm doing this just for the sake of you when you watch the video being able to say, oh yeah, that's a different program than the original program up right in here. Okay, so let me go ahead and download this and then I'll take this to the table and you can see how that would how the whole button press will get me to this next mission right here uh, without having to scroll and looking through all those programs. So let's go to the board. Okay, so I'm at the board, guys, and I just downloaded the program. And uh, this is the Green City Challenge. It's pretty old for some of you that um, Legos go back pretty far uh, in your history here. So um, here's all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate what I just put on the programming that forward for uh, three rotations and uh, the backwards. And then I'm going to show you the, the weight for the button press and then I'll that slower 30% one should come on. So let's go ahead and go to this. So this one was the that forward and a backwards back into base. And then you'll see that the program's still running. It's waiting for me to press the button again. So if I just press the middle button, then it sends out that second mission again. So again, guys, that's just the way to connect your missions so that you're not wasting a ton of time looking for your next program. You can just have one mission right after the next and then just keep pressing that button 
and then it'll send your robot out without having to look for that next one. So hopefully that was helpful too um, in your efforts to save time in base. So again, I hope you guys are doing well with your competitions if you're still in. Um, good luck to your teams. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I am out. Thank you.